using at the moment and what's the reason for uh, upgrading them to the new machines uh, I'm making a first video so if you watch it or if you like it and uh, subscribe on our Facebook channel that would be extremely helpful then I can help people to understand new tools and uh, what kind of machines you need for mobile phone repairs to start with uh, let's open our packages what we received from uh, Union Repair today and they are here let's see what we have starting with first one God, it's quite a pattern see the tools are so important I have a crappy <laughs> blade that is actually taking a piss now right what we got here yes sir. we have I think this is a box with a quick is a lead free soldering station from Quick. Got a box manual All right. and a machine itself. Let's see what we got in this box. Right, we got a soldering stand, pretty decent soldering stand, quite a strong one. Machine model is TS1200A. So it's a 1200 watt uh, soldering iron with the precision soldering like a uh, micro pencil and stuff. So let's see what else we have. The machine itself. Pretty decent size and it's quite a heavy machine. It don't look, it's not very lightweight. Hopefully the quality is the same way and figure out what it is on off switch uh cattle cable which is a standard uk plug you can put it in there if they don't send you a uk plug as usual is happen when you receive the products from china so yes we have a european plug which will most probably come with the extension and now we don't have any extensions in there so we have to use our own cable. Let's go some other uh, accessories for uh, EST uh, safety and stuff. Oh, this is a soldering iron. Well, it's not that small how much I was expecting. It's quite a big soldering iron. It's not as good as my old one. I'm using um, a resize, a German machine. Uh, model is 2000A. I'll show you later. But this is fairly fine it's lightweight it's not too heavy but actually um, yeah it should be fine hopefully let's see we're gonna try that and figure out simple basic plug it's got it's a good thing it's got kind of a holder nozzle there which can keep it hold it there so we don't need to worry that while we work and it come out rest we will plug in later and see how good they work and I'll make a video on that and explain what's the best way to use it and how to program that I can see there's a three program set on that one two and three which you can uh, set up to uh, temperature what you need for different jobs to be done for example if you're working on uh, Apple motherboards um, uh, most of the time they're different type of soldering on different units uh, some cases um, uh, Samsung motherboard take a stronger one and Apple use a little a um, little bit different so uh, you can actually control the temperature to just get a better soldering job done let's see what we have else so that was quick there are six machines we order one two right oh that there you go I was thinking they haven't sent the plugs but there are a lot of plugs for UK, so thank you guys. Sorry about that earlier. I uh, just in a rush, but I didn't realize. All right, what we have next? Let's put this one on the side and go for the machine. We've got next. Hmm. I 
think this is a famous quick A6 ADW. Yeah, I think so. A61 DW, yeah, that's a famous machine from Quick. Everyone is using nowadays, and uh, they're pretty happy with that because they have uh, air cylinder better than usual machines. And it's a 1200 watt machine. So, mostly in the market, what you get the machines is uh, 600, 800, or uh, nearly that one. It's for box one with few different sizes, nozzles. Which really can help for um, for the process for small repair or big repair. It's good. But well, actually, I prefer the L-shaped nozzles, which we can use under the microscope. Uh, I have one of that. Um, using it, I can show you later on the proper description for the machine. Come with a very heavy, nice quality stand. Look like good. And battery workstation itself. And then EST thing. Right. It's gonna be rough cables today. I don't wanna break it. Right, that's a famous famous A6 one DW machine. Again the power cord is uh, yeah power card is again European one and it's a built-in one so you can't change to a UK one easily I'm, I'm a bit surprised because I got one machine already and that has let me just pre-check it that machine now they're right that machine actually yes it's come with the permanent plugged cable which you just have to use a different plug in that so there you got I will make a description later on and explain again this one is three channel machine you can increase and decrease and set your heat temperature on that uh, with uh, your uh, uh, what is called uh, air air pressure as well and that really do a good job I, I used it uh, I'm pretty happy with that uh, it's, it's not too expensive and uh, it's really do the job so hopefully my students who will work on that they will enjoy it right what else we got sir well wow, this tool I was looking for desperately to be honest I have uh, something similar to that before so I haven't tried this one at all this is a NAND programmer, JCPR P1000S, 1000S. This is a programmer for NAND chip, or when you want to upgrade the NAND chip from one, uh, so let's say 32 to uh, more than that, 64 or 128. So they have a different programmers for that. So this one, this device is pretty. A pretty nice looking color though this is a blue yeah, look nice come with the cable it's uh yeah c cable uh c charging mode and then the memory card right i don't know why what memory is on that or it's just for upgrade purposes they use it we will use this machine as well and try to understand how it works i've seen some of youtube videos how people use it I did use something similar before, but haven't used this particular one. This machine is not enough itself. You need to have a different plugs for different uh, phones or different uh, uh, motherboards. Uh, so if you wanna uh, read an and or um, check the batteries and stuff, they have a different functions. But you need to get a plug. I ordered one of that, it's called P7, I think. I don't know if it's in the box here. I don't look like it's here, but I really need, don't want to go for that big box. A lot of things in there. And what? Right. Okay, that's how in white. Right. It should be saved somewhere. Okay. Yeah, we have. 
nicely. Keep working the backing. This one probably the right. Get something. Oh, I think it says six one again, which is not really I'm looking for. I'm looking for sir. Reader, land reader, and seven they call it. And again, I don't know where it is that. It's showing up on delivery. There are three boxes, by the way, but let's see. Same machine. Same machine. Right, I don't know. It should be in one of these boxes or I haven't placed order properly maybe. Or some are put by mistake. I don't know. I'll check my invoice and I'll check everything. There it is. But uh, we actually need a read. I've oh, got some box here. Right. Let's see if this what we're looking for. Yay! That's what we're looking for. So this is a clip, or you can say plug, for reading a NAND chip. It's called JCP7. I heard about it. They said you can use for most of Apple devices, and that can help you to read a NAND. Where you have to remove, where you have to remove. Uh, from the phone and read it here. So that's what we got for summer. Summer, thank you very much for all these products. And uh, we will work on them. And uh, let's see how many phones we can fix and how many people we can teach. Uh, thank you and uh, see you later. And guys, if you go, uh, if you understand, if you want to learn these things or if you interested in these products, please leave comments uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll be on youtube soon as well trying to figure out how it work this is quite complicated few different softwares but when we'll launch that hopefully we'll see you there thank you thank you very much